Hey guys, welcome to Just Mama Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the pinwheel braid. I am using the number 5 or the 7th 8th inch acetate ribbon in white and red wine. And I'm going to layer some gold that I got from, I want to say Hobby Lobby at Christmas on top of my white. So this gold glitter. Um, I did cut my ribbon my weaving ribbon you'll see here the white and the gold at two and a half times the length of the braid it just barely gave the two gave me the length of the braid that i needed so next time i may cut it a little bit longer the wine colored ribbon i cut it at 18 inches and you see here i fold it in half and you're gonna need multiple of these for this particular braid and then each line on my mat is an inch so i about three inches fold it from that center fold inward toward the tails you can see i'm gonna do it a couple of times with i cut three ribbons to initially start i ended up having to cut more for this braid it took a total of five of these 18 inch pieces to make a 12 inch braid when it was all said and done again like i said i'm just folded it to where it's in half and then from the half i folded about three inches in i actually found that a little over three inches is more of what i need not quite four but just a little over three like three and a quarter and because it is doubled up like that, it's a little more pain in the butt to work with. You see, I kind of grab the end, do a loop, and I found that having that one off to the side is easier. And then you take where you folded it at the three inch and put it over the other loop, like so. And then you're going to bring your long tail of the white and the gold up and over it all. And then take your other tail and weave it through. Just like I'm trying to show y'all here. Nope. It liked to pop out. It did that a couple of times to me. And then from there, tighten it up. That way it looks all nice and snug. And you can slightly crease the ribbon, but you don't have to crease it too much. That way you get a tight look to it. And then you see I kind of struggle with it for a few minutes here. And then put a staple in there. Of course, my um, stapler was out of staples. My luck. That's how it normally goes, right? Right when you need it to staple, you're out of staples. So. I had my backup stapler. It's not as fancy as my plier staplers, and it's just a regular size staple, but it gets the job done. And then I'm going to show you, then go on to the next one. Same thing. You just fold it over, make a little loop like so, and then you're going to take your 18-inch ribbon and slide it on top like that. And I like to try to get it as, you can leave a little bit of a gap, but I try to get it as snug as I can to the other one. It takes some practice to get this. Like I said, the ribbons try to slide around a bunch on me. But it's very time, found to be a very time consuming type of braid. And it'll add something a little different if that's what you're looking for trying to keep y'all at a good angle and braid at the same time if you've ever made a YouTube video you know how hard that can be <laughs> I have actually seen this on another video on how to make this and 
the video to me wasn't that great. I had a lot of guesswork to do to try to figure it out. It wasn't, I'm not trying to call names out or anything like that. And so I'm just trying to break it down and show y'all this full start to finish braid on how to get this done. Not that I finish it, but you know, the measurements and everything. Cause I had to, from the other video, I had to do, like I said, a lot of guesswork on how to do it. I ended up having to watch the video three or four times and it just, to me, to me personally, wasn't that great of a tutorial video. And, um, I've only ever seen one other creator do a video, and so I thought I would put it out there in the YouTube world. As you see, I almost put it on backwards. It doesn't work that way. Not that I know of. I haven't tried it. But, you, obviously, you can layer up a couple of different ribbons if you want, you know, just a part of the burgundy, you know, burgundy ribbon sticking out you could probably add another smaller ribbon to that to give you another contrasting color I wasn't trying to do all that I was just trying to you know make it work you see here I had it quite a lot looped out and so I had to really pull and snug it in and everything Um, the staples I end up covering up with some bling, as you'll see in the picture to this video. I just add a little piece of bling on there. You could probably put a name, something like that. Also, um, I found that my tails weren't even, so I end up cutting them to make them look a little more even. So that I didn't have like one really short one and a couple of long ones. But there you have it. And I hope you find this information useful. Have a great day.